quarter start, you kind of erupted. You had eight quick points. Did you feel like this game could have been within your grasp tonight? Well, like every game can be, but uh, when the games are in the margins for us this year, um, I guess the common theme is, you know, certain three to four minute windows we don't play with, um, you know, just the right uh, intentions, I should say. and. Um, and when that happens, you know, certain teams who can shoot the ball across the board, you know, they hit two or three threes and can blow a game open. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, we kind of lose any type of momentum. And uh, that happened towards the end of the third quarter and, you know, that little three-minute window in the fourth. So learning lessons for us. We are – we know – it's a roller coaster. It's been like that all year. Uh, but if we're going to be a team we need to be, it's just a matter of, again, learning those lessons in real time and trying to figure it out. You mentioned the roller coaster. You know, you guys haven't won or lost three in a row yet. Um, does, does that surprise you? Like, are you going into some of these games after winning two straight, like thinking you guys are getting in on a roll? Or are you sensing that this type of team is kind of going to be a roller coaster? No, we came in thinking this was a winnable game. Um, no matter the back-to-back and short turnaround, I mean, they were there in the same situation, just obviously at home. And had a good energy coming off those two wins against Minnesota, even you know knowing that their record wasn't great. We, we played extremely well. Uh, so it is disappointing, but... You know, you always fall back to the big picture of you know what we're trying to do. And... Uh, you know, we're, we're obviously not a consistent team by any stretch, um, but we do find ways to bounce back, and that's kept us from falling into some some lonely lonely times. So I think for us, I have confidence in that. Go home, get a win Saturday. And, uh, and again, it's just – it's uh, – just getting educated as we go along, you know, this season. It's, 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 it's interesting to say the least. (laughs) Stefan, do you feel for Kelly a little bit coming off a strong game last night and then tonight he's trying to back it up again against his old teammates? Uh, We feel for every teammate that, you know, is is out there trying to figure it out and and doesn't play the way that they want to. we're all in this together. We have each other's back. And, you know, as, as high as the high was yesterday, um, you know, you enjoy, you celebrate it, but you stay even keeled because you have nights like tonight where, you know, it doesn't go your way. So um, it, it's, it's tough. You, you, you know, he was, I don't, I don't, I didn't talk to him before the game or, or during about that specifically about what it was like to play against his, you know, his former team. But, um, you know, he, he probably wanted it really bad. And uh, uh, he'll get another shot at it. So it's just a matter of um, looking at the entire roster and understanding what we all can do better in those margins. I was telling somebody, it's <clears throat> this year is weird because, you know, we've lost, what, nine games? We were 10 and nine, and probably eight of those nine are just, just getting blitzed, like, you know, we have competitive runs, and then you look up and you're down 15, 17, and that's just not – it's kind of deceiving, I think, in terms of it's we, – we're just getting our head beat in. And if we got to get to that point where we lose games and we give ourselves a chance down the stretch to, you know, keep it close, keep it tight, play smarter um, on both ends of the floor, whether you win or lose um, – you put yourself in a much better position to become a more consistent team. And um, that's that's where we have to get to if we're really trying to, uh, you know, establish ourselves, ourselves, you know, halfway through the season. Hi, Steph. Carlos Ramirez, NBC Bay Area and Telemundo. There's a lot of new stuff this year. I mean, no fans, new way to travel, new protocols, a lot of new. Do you think the team has to try new things to get to that old level of consistency or is it the other way around 
go back to basics? I mean, we're trying new things all the time. Um, uh, I mean, I mean, in the routine or on, on a day to day basis. I mean, I mean, it's hard because we there's no playbook for this. So, I mean, to answer your question, I think we're we're just figuring it out on the fly, like everybody else. Um, you get a new memo every day. Uh, you're in a different city with new schedules. Um, you know, you'd love to be in a normal situation, but that's just not the reality that we're living in. So you, you do have to figure out exactly. Um, I was even talking to Draymond about like shoot arounds and stuff like that. And in, in, the, in the margins, I think it's it's everything's different. So um, I don't know what the right answer is on the day to day, but you do what you feel is right. <laughs> try to get yourself ready to go. Try to bounce back from a loss, continue, maintain momentum after win and and and. And all those decisions are just kind of on the fly because nobody's ever been through this before. So um, kind of just take it day to day. To day. Steph, Kendrick Andrews, NBC Sports Bay Area. I guess kind of following up on that with learning on the fly, with trying to find consistency but not having as many practices, how much more challenging is it to do that in games when you're also preparing for different matchups while trying to just find some identity. And it is difficult. There's certain things you, you uh, I don't want to say take for granted, but you kind of can uh, gloss over in terms of, you know, just saying, okay, tonight we're going to, you know, do X, Y, Z on the defensive end. And then the next night it might be a little different based on personnel. Um, you know, like to your, to your point, we're still learning the basics of, you know, defensive principles, offensive uh, play calls, certain reads that you can't just choreograph. It's kind of just have to have that second nature. So um, it is a lot and it's a crash course for not just the rooks and the young guys, but for everybody uh, to try to put it together, you know, for all the guys that step foot on the floor every night. So um that's the beauty of the season. When we get to the, you know, the end, and we hopefully are where we, where we're at, um, you know, we'll, we'll have a new appreciation for nights like these, and nights that we've had prior, and in the good games where, uh, you know, it's it's different than it has been, but it makes it all worth it. How much are you following the state of the rest of the conference, and how much of a log jam it kind of is right around where you guys are? I look at it every day. It's, you know, it's. I think we didn't play the other, or no, we lost the other day, or didn't play, and we moved up, and it's, it's all over the place. It's just kind of a jumbled mix between four and what eleven or twelve, four and ten. So it's uh gives you a little bit of comfort knowing you know you can put together hopefully like, you know four game win streak and, and shoot up the the standings, but you got to be able to just focus on each game uh, for us that have been here. We can afford to kind of look big picture, but I think we all understand that um, it's really hard to win in this league right now. And you gotta, you gotta show up every night. Hello, Steph. This is Charles from Greece. I would like to ask you, what was the, the biggest lesson of uh, the tonight's game for your team? And what was uh, the main issue that you would like to solve about your game? It goes back to that point where it can be ugly, back-to-back, -back, schedule, all that. We were within two or three possessions in the third quarter um, and weren't able to finish it down the stretch and, and keep it somewhat close and respectable so that you can go, <clears throat> you know, win an ugly game on the road in the fourth quarter. Um, and that's just, uh, you know, just thinking a little bit more in terms of what we're trying to accomplish in those little moments. So. Um, be a good film study. Going back to the standings, what do you think about the Sixers and your brother on top in the East? I don't even follow the East, so I didn't. Okay. I didn't even know that. <laughs> I didn't even know that. I knew they were playing well. I knew he was, was happy to have him or him be uh, back from protocols and all that. I didn't even know that. So shout out to S. Dot. Steph, considering uh, how uh, precarious you, you know, you seem to think these games are sometimes, uh, how the uh, the fourth quarter, especially knowing a game could get away from this team pretty quickly. 
Say that last part again. He broke up a little bit. Uh, knowing that the game could get away quickly, like you said, it's like in the margins, a couple minutes of not playing the right way, the game could get away. Does that make that six minutes tougher to sit to start the fourth? I got you. I know what he's talking about. Yeah, it all. I mean, it's that is the balance of the big picture and trying to win every game, or not. We're trying to win every game, but to uh, you know have the feel of like you know if it's coming back at eight or nine uh, minutes or whatever it is um, versus how I feel physically. Like, obviously, want to play as you know as many minutes as possible and try to go. Um, and steal a game like tonight, but uh, that's obviously just reads on a night to night basis. And you know, as we get a little deeper in the season, possibly could get a little bit more aggressive in that in that respect. Um, and it might be necessary, but you know, right now it's trying to get everybody um, comfortable because we do need everybody to to play and to find our true rotations as we get deeper in the season and. Um, you know, there's going to be a sense of urgency on that at, at some point. Steph, you, you mentioned the margins uh, several times here. Having played on those teams that had such a high basketball IQ for so long, how do you avoid not getting too frustrated knowing that it, it's very obvious that uh, a lot of guys don't seem to know exactly where to be all the time and, and they're making these mental mistakes over and over again early in the year? Mostly just uh, understand there's patience to it, but I mean, uh, we all were once in the in, in the young guy's shoes and, and understand that it is a process. And if you come with the right attitude, and um, you know, we we have a sense of accountability that we're not trying to make the same mistakes over and over again. That's when it gets frustrating when you call certain things out and then we don't make the necessary adjustments and. Um, you know, tonight was one, it was a good learning lesson for, for us that finished the third quarter and the, and the group that started the fourth, um, you know, find a guy that's hot, that's, you can, you know, kind of force the issue in that respect. If you got a good matchup, slow things down, keep yourself in the game. Um, and we talked about it in the locker room after the game and everybody, you know, knows, nobody's getting hurt feelings or, or feeling, you know, singled out as we're all trying to get better. So. Um, we can't make the same mistakes over and over and over again. Um, and we just have to come with the right intention so that, you know, at some point it all clicks. And then, you know, one through 13, however many guys, you know, out there on the floor understand exactly what we're trying to do. Because it's not ever going to be um, just a one-man show. You can't win like that in this league. So um, we got to be able to figure that out.